Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to compare the startup performance of a native image and versus JVM using Quarky. And Quark is Quarkus with uh, most of or all micro profile dependencies and some of Java E like dependencies. So I created a project from my uh, archetype, Quarky uh, archetype, and pushed that to uh, Airhex. And I created two Docker images. One is JVM image, and the other one is the native cross compiled grass, uh, grass, Graal VM image. And uh, what I also did, um, I uh, created a health check, which is going to be used as a readiness probe to serve traffic. So Kubernetes will wait until this becomes available and we will serve just a simple ping. So uh, both examples are already uh, integrated as image streams. So you, you have the Quarkus full, which points to Airhex and Quarkus full GM, VM, JVM, which also points to Airhex. Organization, why it's important? Because you could uh, you can replicate this um, if you like. Um, it's um, by yourself. So we have that, and now let's. Uh, what I would like to do is to scale the Quarkus full first to let's say one, five, ten, and so forth, and see how it actually behaves. So let's do this OC scale a DC as this deployment config, and the name is Quarkus uh, full. This is the name of the DC, and I would like to have replicas uh, one. And let's see what happens. And uh, it scales pretty quick. So if we open that, we see it is uh, ready to uh, receive traffic. So um, what about, let's say, two replicas. So it starts another one. So we have two pods, and now it creates more and more pods. And it uh, takes longer because the load balancer tries to ping the server every second, and now it is available. So and now, finally, I would like to see what happens, and I would like to have 15 nodes. So we have now a cluster of 15 nodes uh, behind the load balancer. So now all the containers are started, and uh, now they are running, but uh, uh, the health check was not checked yet, and I just used the defaults. So if we go to the deployment configs and go to the full, then um, there is the configuration and there is the readiness probe which goes to get on port 8080 and uh, to see the pods so we see all the pods are running and uh, yeah now it's scaled to 15 pods and uh, if we say I would like to have 20 then let's go with a 20 so we see some these containers are creating, then running, and then container ready, ready means container is ready to receive traffic. So the health check so is fully deployed and the health check was was checked and um, and is healthy. So now we scale from 0 to 20 with uh, the native images. And if we go to the overview, we see they are fully operational and running. And actually, we see here Quarkus. We have the metrics. So we get the Prometheus metrics. We also get the uh, health check. And of course, what we also get is the uh, actual business logic. So seems to work. So now let's scale back to zero and do the same with the JVM. So now everything is shuts down and uh, I will do the same with the JVM. And the JVM is just a different uh, Docker file. So we have the uh, JVM. So it will start the uh, JVM from outside. So we have here the entry point run Java and it will run uh, the Java and what we started so far is this native image. So there is no Java in place. It is just a native native binary. So let's see. Uh, so now we have zero pods um, and now do the same with uh, full JVM. And for that, I will have to switch to the different de uh, deployment and this is our deployment and let's see how it feels like to run on JVM so let's do this and keep in mind this is my uh, uh, this is a few years old notebook and I dedicated half of my uh, of my course I think two or four I actually forgot to um, to uh, open shift here so we have two replicas let's uh, create another one and uh, it is also ready to serve the traffic. So then let's 
speed it up a bit. So let's go to five. So it's ready to create a traffic and now go to 20. And now this content is already running. Th this containers were created and running. We can actually, so they are running and then are going to be ready to serve the traffic. And the running containers, if we take a look on them, this is the actual Quarkus with all the dependencies I mentioned before. As we can see, now Java is really started with Java, Quarkus, and so forth. So, uh, so let's see how it's going. 20 pods. And everything is up and running, right? So 20 pods are started. And um, <laughs> both are so fast, so it's really hard to compare. So my, uh, my impression is that the uh, load balancer uh, waits too long to pick the services, that they are starting actually faster than expected. I just used the default settings. And now scale back to zero. And uh, now they are going to be... Um, Terminated. So if we go here, there's a huge termination is going on. So um, so what I actually did, I, I created a uh, Quarkus project with uh, all uh, all reasonable dependencies, I would say, what I use usually in my projects, and then created two images, a native and JVM one, both pushed to, uh, to Docker Hub and compared startup times. And I was able, on my machine, to run 20 instances of uh, full JVMs or uh, native images and was able to scale it back and forth. Of course, it doesn't scale, it doesn't start up like an assembler, but uh, it is very, very fast, and I would say it is um, uh, sufficient for most enterprise projects. So thank you for watching, and see you at AirHacks conferences or AirHacks FM podcast. So thank you, and bye.